Hi, right, welcome back. Today we're going to be installing our Volt Switch panel on our overhead console. So stay tuned, keep watching, and hit subscribe. Welcome back guys, so yeah, we're going to be installing our 12 switch, Vos, our, our Vos switch 12 panel, or 12 switch panel up here. I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to show you how to run your wire through there because we already have our next space uh, dash cam uh, wiring going through there so it makes it a lot easier the first time you do it around. It makes it a lot easier the second time around because you know how to run the wire. So. I'm looking forward to putting this up here and kind of keep it a little bit discreet versus on the bottom or somewhere else in the in the Land Cruiser. So, yeah, the first thing you want to do is remove. Uh, first thing you want to do is remove your oh shit handle, your visor, and that should help us. And this, and that should help us get to this area. So let's go ahead and start. Now that we got our uh, overhead console here, this is where we're going to mount our uh, 12 panels, our Vos switch panel here. I was also thinking if we went to go ahead and flush mount it here, we could. All we have to do is cut it, trim here and go like this. But then the buttons will be literally parallel down, which is fine, right? Um, let's kind of see. It'll be like this because we have this door and you can still utilize the door. Um, if you needed to but we really don't so what I was thinking maybe doing is taking off is taking off this door here and actually mounting it hiding in there so let me show you how I'm thinking we we have our switch panel which is 12 it's almost the same um, like I was mentioning it's almost a, you can almost flush mount it like this and you can still have the option to swing back and forth um, but it's gonna be literally horizontally to the roof of the vehicle so I don't know if I want to do that I think there's an easier way um, Vos does provide obviously some hardware and this bracket here so I think what's best is if we actually remove this and actually put it in here and actually face it like this and have it at an angle and that'll be more facing towards the driver and passenger or the or below the I'll show you anyways so this video is how to install your 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 switch panel uh, into the overhead console if you have one like this or something similar. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to be removing this here which has two screws there but we need to access it so we have to go here we got to remove this box first. I'm missing one because I took this off before so we're going to want to remove it is remove this remove this door here so we're going to take these off Just like that. So now it gives us our package tray. Just remember which direction before installing it. Now it gives us a pretty much open space. So what I'm thinking is, let's go ahead and put this. Put our studs or our screws in. So what I'm thinking, this is facing the back of the vehicle we're gonna do is get it right so I want it to be facing like this we'll switch this way around like so and then we could adjust it on how we want it up and down I'm thinking a little bit like that so you still have a little gap on the edges but it's not too bad I think it looks flush if you wanted to lower it a little bit more 
you could and kind of have it like this or I just want a little tilt to it so that it could face me so maybe something like that so when you look at it see if I can show you guys so when you're, you're looking at it it's, it's gonna be like this for you guys something like that if you guys get the idea so I think so I think I'm gonna put some screws here onto the mount put it in the center have it something like this I think that looks cool or even like I said just a little bit more so that we don't have such a big gap or you could always change the bracket the other way around right and go like this and I think this actually would might sit a little more flush inside so if you wanted a little bit more flushed inside you could I guess it would have to depend on once we put it on the vehicle um, this is actually a pretty good look too it won't stick out as far you actually could go a little bit farther down so I might do this route I'm gonna drill the holes I might just yeah, this might be the best route right here again it's gonna be facing like this like this so you still see all the buttons and it'll be discreet so that's how I'm gonna want my switch is right right around there so kind of gives me an idea so now I'm gonna take my switch panel off put the bracket here I do know that I want it right here so what we're gonna do is remove our bracket here our screws from our bracket put them over here this so I don't lose my, my place remove this so we're gonna go ahead and mark our bracket in our center All right so what we're gonna want to do is put the our hard screws or screws behind here to our mounting point and this will be for the back in here so keep this near nearby we're gonna drill out our holes go ahead and put one of our screws through see if it fits through the hole if not we're gonna have to drill a little bit bigger and by the looks of it it's not gonna fit so we're gonna have to go a little bit bigger almost so now we're going to go ahead and put a set of washers like this put a little locking nuts and let's hope that if closes that just we got to make sure that this clears the inside but then we just have to tighten this up and we're set let's let me go test this all right so these are a little bit too long and there's a bracket on the center console roof part so i'm going to do is flip these around um, as you can see it'll be a lot shallow here than this sticking out so i'm hoping that that will help without having to cut the bracket and yeah so i'm going to flip all these around this way all right, by flipping these over, it did clear the top, uh, but make sure obviously every switch panel and um, gear or uh, hardware is different. So now we're gonna have to do is run our, cut a hole so we could run our wire uh, through here or through the side. So that's our next step, but it's gonna look pretty good. Just sitting somewhere like this. A little bigger still just one more step all 
almost. Just like that. Now we have a hole for our cable. So now we need to mount it and we gotta screw this in here. So run our cable through there, run our screws through here. I totally forgot about that. How am I gonna tie these up or screw these up with the bracket being there? I might have to disconnect the bot this bottom bracket, drill the holes to the side, screw through this way, and that's how I'm gonna be able to do it. It's always a challenge, that's what I'm here for to show these videos on how to do and how to learn from my mistakes. Uh, but well, yeah, let's uh let's figure this out. Alright, so we drilled our holes through here and through here so that we could access our screw and release that there. So now we're gonna go ahead and mount our uh, our switch panel we're gonna mount the bracket onto it now we got our mount we have these little rubber spacers we're gonna to want to do is run our screwdriver first because it's magnetic like that run that through there not sure if you guys can really see that so I apologize if you can't We got it through, we'll leave it loose. We'll do this side. We're gonna put our screw through here. If I can. up a little bit there, tighten it up and then what we're gonna do is kind of eyeball adjust or kind of eyeball adjust it to where we want it I'm thinking maybe a little bit like that we're gonna go ahead and tighten it there like that Super tight, sturdy. <sighs> so we can push it, and then it'll look like this, just like, just like that. It's sturdy; it's not moving. So now we're gonna go ahead and remount our screws to this basket. We have our cable out, so we're good. And now we put this back together. And if you ever want to take this out and put it back to stock, um, you pretty much could uh, just gotta screw this back on. You'll have one hole, but I mean, it really, you really won't notice anything. So, or you could buy this piece itself, or find it at your look, or find it at a junkyard or online or something like that. And there you go, custom, <laughs> not necessarily. I know there's a guy on, uh, on um, I Hate Dirt that uh, sells housings for them. Um, you can buy that to give it a more flush look, um, but pretty much you can actually make your own ABS one. 
uh, you don't have to spend money but if you want to support your local uh, 100 series Land Cruiser guys you can but in this case it's a 12 uh, channel uh, 12 channel or 12 switches so it completely fills in the whole gap so perfect if it was a 6 then you would have it really small it'll look kind of weird so then I would go ahead and buy uh, his stuff or if you had an 8 you still might be able to get away with it but you probably have an inch or so on each side but this one fits perfect plus I got extra switches to use for everything so let's go ahead and mount it run the wire down and then we completed our uh, how to install a 12 12 uh, 12 gain switch panel from Bose switch on my 100 series Land Cruiser so let's go ahead and mount this is connect our plugs so first we're going to connect our switch panel arrows to arrows I think that's the way yep just like that and then we're going to go ahead and sc screw it yep. we're going to fish put it a little bit in more and then we're going to connect connect our sunroof and our lights so connect our lights Wrong one. Connect our lights, our sunroof, like this. Connect the other one. Like that. And we're gonna go ahead and that run our cable across the back right. then the only one thing that we have left and I'm not sure if I could access is this one bolt that screws onto here so just so you know there's one of these but yeah there we go we're just gonna put this back together and we're done All right, so there you guys have it. How to install your 12, uh, 12 gang switch panel from Vos Switch on your overhead console on the 100 series Land Cruiser and other vehicles. So I'll show you guys how to install the rest of it in the next video. So stay tuned, keep watching. Hope you guys enjoy this. I really like the 12, uh, 12 switch or 12 gauge or 12 gang option here because then you can use and I'll show you how to program and stuff like that. Uh, but I really like it because it fits well in here and not only that but it gives you more options most companies only give you up to eight um, there's some that have a lot more yeah most companies give you six to eight options or, uh, or switches what I like about the Vos it gives you the 12 at a more economical price uh, so yeah looking forward to showing you guys the rest of the installation so stay tuned keep watching just thought I would show you how to do this first and we go from there so catch you on the next one subscribe